Hello and welcome back. This is the Clay Golem. This is Foundry VTT and this is Curse of Strahd. Uh, another update video just on the Curse of Strahd module um, because I know some of you are really interested in it. If you're not interested in it, stop watching. <laughs> Otherwise you're going to be bored. Um, but I have repackaged and done the village of Barovia now. So I just wanted to go through um, uh, quite quickly what you get in this pack at this moment. So um, I'm in my... I'm in my alternative foundry installation. This is the one with the D&D 4.0 game engine, but that's kind of irrelevant. It will work on both the 3.3.1 with all the automations and it will work on 4.0, bearing in mind we've got very little mod support. What we need, tag it, tagger, socket lib, monks active tile triggers, lib wrapper item piles, and the CG Cursor Strad mod link to that, the updated version in the... Um, the thingy the description below yeah where well, you're going to write nice things or maybe you won't <laughs> let's find out okay so i've got all of those installed uh, i'm going to go to my compendium i've got curse of strad if you watched the last video uh same as before we've got our landing and intro our death house and now we've got welcome to Boravia, which actually has stuff in it and i got rid of the other pack there which was superfluous and useless so we can just left click on each of these it's going to tell us what it's going to do we're going to import all thank you very much um, i'm also going to do the same for the death house it's going to import 11 actors 10 items three scenes nine folders yes we're going to do that now it does complain about all oh, warning you might override something you've already got don't worry doesn't matter um, because if it is overriding anything it's only updating um, but it shouldn't be overriding anything anyway um, welcome to Barovia so we've got this one in as well so this is going to bring in 25 actors three items a journal entry 12 scenes and 11 folders so let's import that one as well um, there's also a link to that to the uh, Dragna Carta version of the uh, the adventure so as a reminder i'm building this to follow dragna carter's strad reloaded version even though almost all of the scenes are the same dragna carter's got a few extra scenes and it runs slightly different but if you want to run the absolutely original module you've still got all the maps and everything you need to do that you just might find that you don't need some of the items or some of the things are in a funny place um you're going to prep anyway so yeah no drama all right what did we get so in our scenes folder we've got this one folder um, cg curse of strad scenes and in there we've got into the mist you've already seen this now it's not pulling through for whatever reason um it's not pulling through the images for things like the landing page and stuff if that is annoying you um as soon as you visit the page you can just go up generate the image and there we go <laughs> If, if that's annoying you but you shouldn't it doesn't matter it doesn't affect the players the players are not going to see that anyway so we already looked at this this is the study you need to update the images for your players or delete these tiles and if you want them to click through you're going to need to update those tiles very easily the monks active tile triggers uh, your trigger is just going to be a case of um, going to the actions and open actor sheet and selecting your actors because you obviously haven't got my players um, nice and easy. Uh, the map of Fandolin is now working. It wasn't before. Um, so that's in there. If you choose to start it there, you've got your mysterious visitors. We looked at that. That all works. And the Svalich Road, that all works. Um, and the wolf battle scene, that is all ready to go with all the wolves and everything in it. So, boom, let's whiz through. Death House, from the last video, um, very little has changed there. Uh, I have fixed... Uh, the pit trap i fixed a pit trap that should work now you can see the image is actually showing it was a silly thing because um if you remember when we built it um i used token attacher and i created it as the character and it was all good but of course i'm not using token attacher as an add-on mod for this and i forgot to detach the trap from the actor so that's why it was giving a little bit of jip but that's all fixed this should be all good to go lighting and everything um or lack of lighting in this particular scene but we've also got our ambient sounds in there and you can switch these over when the chanting begins and stops as you wish again run through it yourselves um, just so you know what's happening but that's all there and the same as the escape death house thing is all there as well with all of its lights so that is ready to run as long as you've got a copy of um, the original adventure 
Or, oh no, you also, you do need a copy of the original adventure, but you might want Dragna Carters as well if you want to run that version of the Death House. Um, I've kind of included everything you need for both. So whichever you run should be good to go. Right, skip on. Barovia. Lots of scenes for Barovia. <laughs> There's lots of scenes. So I've been through and updated all of these. We've now got this, um, this map. You've already seen that. We've got the barricades. I think you saw this one as well. This is all set up, ready to go. I've checked all of these actor icons should um, load correctly for you. Um, if you encounter any where you've got an image missing or something like that, please do let me know. Drop it in the comments um, because I can only test so well. I can only test on the same machine and if I've got a Duff Link, if it's looking locally on my machine, it's going to find it. So I can't see broken links like that. So you'll have to tell me if I've missed anything. Uh, we've got the town square there. It's just a role play discussion point as they head off to Blood of the Vine. Um, and we've just got some characters in here as well. I've got my, uh, my music scenes on. So all of this is ready to go. We've got our characters um, standing by ready for when the party come in. You should be hidden. Whoops a daisy. Um, so when our party come in, they're going to come in with Ismark into the pub, have that discussion and everything like that. And then they move on to the Burgomaster's Mansion, where there's a bit of a raid outside. Now, since the last video, or last time you might have seen her, I have changed Irina. Because it re repeatedly refers to her being red-headed. Um, and the actor I was using didn't have red hair, she had dark hair. Uh, so I have updated her, so those bits of the storyline make sense. She's now got red hair, um, and uh, you know, everybody loves a redhead, right? Men, women, we all love redheads. Uh, so that's quite useful because uh, we do want the party to bond with that individual. Uh, so this is all set up, ready to go with, again, Dragna Carter's Strad Reloaded version. It starts off with a bit of a, a mini not a riot but a protest outside the door and things it does not start with Koylan being dead he dies in a little while um, after the Burgermaster's Mansion uh, they potentially go to the uh, the Mercantile to Bildraths he's all there with Periwimple um, and then there's the fight at the barricades so same scene but obviously change the lighting we've added on our monsters and things we've got our plague zombie here which should be all good to go with all of his abilities now when we say good to go with all of his abilities we are not talking about those abilities being automated because we don't want to include all the automation extra mods if you want to add automation on if you want to use midi qol with this you absolutely can um but a lot of these things are not necessarily set up for that, okay? Because we want to make it accessible to as many people as possible uh, with as little reliance on mods. A word on this encounter, though, if you when you come to it, if you're running it this way with Dragna Carters, uh, there is an assault on the barricade by all those undead. So I've created this barricade as a character therefore it's got an armor class and it's got hit points so those monsters can actually the undead can actually attack these barricades to try and break through do hit point damage and effectively kill them now if they die because it's an actor it's going to come up and put a skull over it and say that they're dead well just delete it <laughs> if they smash this one to pieces this one here uh, you know just delete it out of there but it means they can effectively actually attack while the party are probably up here shooting arrows down and everything else, um, hopefully not getting uh, overtaken by uh, by the undead. They then head off to the Western Barricade, um, where everybody's dead. So we've got some images, we've got some dead people lying around, we've still got a couple of barricades, the rest have been broken, the doors have been smashed in. Nothing worse than having your doors smashed in. Um, and there is the one remaining plague zombie, so... Uh, plague spreader sorry so as the party rush to the western gate they meet up with ismark fight off the last plague zombie spreader before strad's steward arrives so this is just a tile it's just hidden you can just unhide this we don't need anything magic and that becomes a role play scene as they see this rider approaching and then we've actually got the actor here for that individual uh, for rayadin um, now, Raiden is created as a character, uh, so he's got all of his abilities and things, again, not necessarily automated, um, but he's got everything he needs in here for his first form, 
because uh, we like to do that in Strahd. We have two forms for everybody. But he's got his manoeuvres, his riposte and parry. He's got his sabre. Um, that I've updated all of the damage correctly for that. His poison dart weapon should work. Um, again, you'll need to go through this. Now, he's got 247 hit points. He is ridiculously tough. They are not supposed to fight him. And they certainly are not supposed to win. He's a CR 14. Um <laughs> <laughs> they're not going to win um, but that's the point and Dragna Carter's module tells you about how to deal with him but he's coming in making a proclamation um, and then he disappears again so this is this is a role play scene as soon as they've dealt with this remains of this one plague spreader um, rather than anything else just so that you know what's going on there but that's why we've got this big kind of uh, um, icon over here is just to start creating some drama I want them for my players I want them to realize that this is this person wandering in is this is a big deal this is not just random you know skivvy of um, of strads this is somebody serious that they need to uh, take seriously oddly um, back to the Burgermaster's Mansion again where things are slightly different now this is where they return to the Burgermaster's Mansion and Collion has actually been killed so he's uh, currently laying there in a pool of his own blood which is very nice and Irina is unconscious now because I've got Irina on another scene um, I haven't got her unconscious here I'm just going to describe the fact that she's unconscious and she has been bitten um, and they passed the night trying to get that to recover and everything uh, and then the next morning, they, um, in theory, head off to the church to um, to bury Coelan, Colon, whatever his name is. So I've got uh, Ismark and Irina here already with the coffin. Um, so obviously your players, you'll just dump their tokens in here as they, in theory, help carry the coffin to the church. So this is just a, this is just a, uh, it's just a tile with an image for you. So yeah, you can move it around because uh, it's just a tile. So using WASD, the WASDA, um, or the arrow keys, you can just move that around with the rest of the characters if you like. Um, or they can just drop it there while they sort out what's going on in here. And of course, they may end up going down here. So here is the new Dora. Um, who is a vampire spawn again it should be a role play opportunity but he is created ready to fight in case they do decide to fight him um, he won't fight back because if he does the party's in serious trouble okay so what we've we done here because this is a burial scene um, and they're burying it and it should be a big deal uh, i'll put a couple of buttons on here and i didn't put these i've only put these on for this purpose to make your life slightly easier so um, when they are come to do the burial, uh, they're all going to be over here. Um, duh, 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 duh. Get, get up there, everybody. No, I don't want to teleport. Get over there. <laughs> they're all going to be over here. Um, and this is the bit where you, you just need to have all the player party together. No, I don't want you going down there either. Because I'm dragging them across. But the burial is going to take part here. So the players are going to be asked to help dig the grave. Once they've digged the grave, you can click this button. And a grave will appear that's been dug with the soil that's been dumped next to it. And as you saw, the morning dawn sunshine is starting to show through so that they can complete the burial ritual. You're going to role play that through. If you're following Dragna Carters, of course, um, you know, if you're not following Dragna Carters, you won't have this burial scene at all. Um, but once they've finished that burial, uh, you're gonna and they've um, they've put the body in, they lowered it and things like that. You can click burial complete. The pile of dirt disappears. It fills in the hole for you, um, and we get a little headstone as well. So you can just dig the grave, and then you can complete the burial um, with your players standing around it. Uh, it's just it's just showing and hiding tiles that's all it is and of course with that light as well uh, when you get it all of that will be set up ready to go all right uh, quickly moving onwards um, if your party do end up following um, Irina up to um, Lugdana's Knoll uh, where they have they find a bit about her background and stuff we've just got a, we've just got an image here for them to look at while that's happening nothing in particular Mad Mary's townhouse is in here in the Dragna Carter Strad Reloaded version, there is no reason for them to go to Mad Mary's house because she comes to the inn rather than them going to her. That's one of the rewrites. But I've left this in 
Under the original module, if they visit her, they find her upstairs crying, and that's where they find out about her daughter going missing. So this is left in if you want it. Um, if the party decide to camp for a while and, and want somewhere to stay, you can kick Mad Mary out and give them a random house or whatever. So I've left this scene in for you. And in theory, that is everything you need to run the Barovia part of the campaign before they then leave Barovia and head down the Svalich Road to the Sir Paul, etc. So the next uh, part of the act I need to do is that journey, meeting Madame Eva, everything like that, um, before they go to the town of Velaki. And Velaki is where I've currently been building scenes. So I know my video is a bit all over the place at the moment because I'm putting a lot of time into getting this ready for you, knowing that some of you want to just get running with it. But there is so much here already, this is going to take you, even if you're playing every week, this is going to take you a good few weeks and I should be able to stay ahead of you. <laughs> and that's why I'm doing this video is just to make let you know that actually if you do want to start that, um, you can do so and I will desperately try and stay one step ahead of you and get these things packaged. But like I say, um, if you want to use this, of course, link in the description, download the whole thing. You can see it's in those packs. You only need to import the bit you're on. You don't need to import everything at once. I've deliberately packaged it like that. If you're just running the Death House as a Halloween special, you only need to import the Death House. You'll get your items and everything. So when we look at our actors, uh, as I said before, we've got our monsters for our intro. We've got Death House. We've got our monsters and our NPCs um, there. I got a broken one. Oh, well, she shouldn't be in there anyway. I've accidentally dumped that one in the wrong folder. I will obviously remove that. Um, you can ignore that one. Uh, in the Barovia village, um, I've got those barricade actors. I've got the monsters that we're going to potentially need. And I've got all of those NPCs that are in there ready to go. Uh, lovely jubbly. Items wise, again, so we've got the items you might find in the death house. There's a couple of broken... Um, there's a couple of broken images there sorry about that I will fix them for the next one I thought I had fixed all of those but this is why we test it um, test it better than I did of course um, in the Barovia village there's not a lot Irina gives them a silver bracelet and there's some rations and there's fire bottles if you're doing the Dragna Carter version uh, and of course the journals where we've got the, um, the party journal from the landing page and map pins um, if we need those, uh, you want those on. So currently these are all hidden. Um, but the map pins are all there for some of the maps if you need them. Uh, what else have we got? We've got the playlist bits. Uh, there's nothing really in there because they play direct through the scenes. And that's it. So, barring a couple of little issues with a couple of images still, which is not the end of the world remotely. You can absolutely run it. They're only images. Um, and we may well encounter a few with the uh, with the... Um, village of Barovia as well just where I've I'm not on the right one uh, just where I've missed clicked on the link for a couple of items and I can easily fix those ready for the next release I don't want to keep releasing hundreds of versions of this so once I've completely finished the Svalich Road I will update the whole thing and let you know and give you a new link for it I would really like to get this working on GitHub so that actually all you need to do is click update and it will update you to the latest version just like you do with all the other mods uh, that again is where I've been spending some of my time trying to get that working because that's all completely new to me and it's nowhere near as simple as you might think i can get everything on there get everything built um, i can get it so that you can download directly from there and import it um, directly from github like you might do for like we have been doing with what was chris's pre-made beta version um, i can't get it to update the release then when i do a new release um, so i'm gonna have to do some more work on that and maybe recruit an expert <laughs> <laughs> I will, I'll see what I can do and get that sorted just to make your life easier so all you need to do is click that update and it will bring in the new stuff and it will fix those things rather than keep having to download a whole new zip file and copy it over yeah it's not a big deal is it but let's make your life smoother if we can um, and it will also mean I haven't got to keep uploading it on my end and giving you new links I can just update and go hey it's updated click the download 
All right. Thank you very much. I really appreciate you watching. If you've got to the end of this video, it's obviously because you're really keen on running Curse of Strahd. I really, really appreciate that. I am going to try and do some videos that aren't Curse of Strahd um, over the next sort of week and just break this up a bit because I've got a bit stuck in a rut of trying to get this stuff ready. But like I said, you've got a good few weeks worth. I mean, Death House will probably take you at least a couple of weeks just on its own. A week of the intro stuff, a week or um, two weeks of Death House, um, and then you've got a couple of weeks of doing the Barovia. So I think I've probably bought myself two months before I need to have the other one ready. It won't be two months, don't worry. Uh, we're going much, much faster than that. Um, <laughs> otherwise one of you is going to complain. Let me know of any issues, any bugs, uh, any problems that you've got. Drop them in the comments to this video. Really, really useful because, um, like I say, I can't see all the bugs. It's not until you guys actually get it in your hands on your machines with your setup that you can tell me that there's issues and what they might be, and then I can fix them to the best of my ability. Remember, I am a enthusiastic amateur. I am not remotely a professional in any way, shape, or form. I'm just a try-hard like most of you lot yeah just doing the best i can and learning as i go um and and that's it brilliant thanks for watching take care guys and i will see you in the next video